this is a, a little helicopter that we just got access to that is able to come in and take remote images of a, a study that we have where we're trying to look at or trying to develop an economic threshold for irrigation uh, of wheat that is disease with wheat streak uh, and other mite vector virus diseases. The, the project uh, or the problem with farmers is that these diseases develop in gradients over the over time and uh, they don't know whether or not they should apply new pesticides or fertilizers or water and most of this is done in April and this is when the disease is just starting to show up so they may know that they have disease in the field but they really don't know whether or not uh, you know what it's going to do and so what we're trying to do is to be able to go in early in the season uh, look at the disease development at a particular time and then based on what it looks like uh, say early April be able to give them a prediction of what the, the crop will be at harvest time. And so to do that we've been going in and using different types of remote imaging uh, to measure and quantify the severity of disease development in the field and now with the application and use of this helicopter uh, it's just one more way of going in and, and measuring the disease development. Uh, the beautiful thing about this, instead of having to do it with hand, you can come in and fly the entire field in a matter of five minutes and it has a very, very high resolution and so we're very, very excited about the possibilities that this may uh, provide for our project. And basically this has an autopilot in it that allows us to pre-program flights and have it fly a grid. And so as it's flying its grid, it's collecting top-down photos. Um, once we collect the photos, we then stitch them together and build a giant photo mosaic of each field that we flew over. Um, so we're hoping to provide incremental um, photo coverage of the field as the disease progresses through the fields. Um, it's, it's a pretty simple system to fly once you learn to program it. Basically, we just turn it on and we just let it fly itself. Many people, many researchers have used satellite imagery before, um, but this provides resolution uh, 100 to 1,000 times greater than satellite imagery. So um, that is a huge improvement when you're looking at ground coverage and trying to pick out diseased plants. Another improvement is uh, temporal resolution. We can fly this every day for a couple of weeks. We can fly it every week for a whole season. Um, whereas with satellites, you'd have to wait two to three weeks for a pass if you can get your slot. Um, so that's a great improvement as well. Um, another thing is we're currently using this with visual spectrum only, so just fo still photographs. Um, this project is, fo is focused on the yellow band, um, but this is a modular system. We could put near infrared, we could put thermal, we could put any array of multispectral sensors on here to capture whatever data it is that the, product, the project demands. One of the things that we're really excited about uh, with this new technology is that although uh, aerial images have been taken before and unmanned aircraft have been used to measure things, uh, they've never been used to our knowledge uh, to manage irrigation applications, uh, especially in disease crops. And so this is something that's totally new and obviously uh, in the Texas Panhandle uh, where water is such a precious resource, anything that we can do to reduce waste uh, or wasteful applications or farmers putting it on when it's not going to benefit them or not to end up paying off for them uh, is going to be a positive thing. And we have uh, great confidence that with the studies that we are currently doing and the application of this new technology that we are going to be able to very quickly provide growers with the information that they need to better manage uh, their irrigation.